Hi there, I'm Lori Jenkins and I'm coming to you from our beautiful Capitol Rotunda. We are in the last couple of weeks of our 2021 legislative session. And as you know, most all of this has been a remote session. It's worked well for us. I happen to be one of the few members who's actually here every day when we're on the floor. And I thought I would talk to you a little bit about exactly where we're at with session right now. I already did a video for you about what it's like to preside over a remote session. And you can see that on my Facebook page if you'd like to look at it. I thought today that what I'd talk about is how bills go back and forth between the House and Senate and how a bill actually gets to the governor's desk for signature and becomes law. Every bill in the legislature starts out in either the House of Representatives or the Senate. It has to go through all the committees in the House that it's assigned to, and then a majority of members in the House have to vote it off of the floor if it's a House bill. Then it travels over to the Senate, and it has to do the very same thing. It's assigned to committees. It's fully heard by senators. They debate the bill. They may amend the bill in some way or another, and it has to come off the floor of the Senate also. Now, one of the really interesting things I think about every bill is that every bill in the House or the Senate, before it passes off the floor of either body, goes to an obscure committee called the Rules Committee. I happen to chair the Rules Committee for the House of Representatives. This is really kind of a way station for all of the bills that come out of all of the committees. We always have to narrow down the number of bills that move off of the House floor. Part of that is because of timing. And part of that might be because even though the bill went through a number of committees and was approved by the committees, once it gets to the floor, there are members who weren't on either of those committees. They might decide that they want to amend the bill, or they might have other reasons for not wanting it to move off of the floor. The Rules Committee is a place where many bills don't move out of, but a lot of them do. The way a bill moves out of the Rules Committee is actually by having a rules member ask for it to be moved. So we have a certain number of members who are appointed to the Rules Committee, and other members lobby them and ask them, will you pull my bill from the Rules Committee? And so you've got to find a member who's on the committee who will move your bill out of the Rules Committee and then make it eligible for the floor. Once a bill has passed the House, goes over to the Senate, sometimes the Senate amends a House bill. So the House has to consider, are they all right with the Senate amendments? And if they are, the House can just concur with the Senate amendments and then the bill is considered passed by both houses. Sometimes there's a disagreement between the two bodies on whether or not there should be a concurrence. The House can then say, we insist you take our bill as we sent it over and we will not accept your amendments. Then the Senate gets to decide whether or not they'll concur with our request. If the House and the Senate are in disagreement about the amendments that either body has placed on the bill, but they feel like they have a chance to get to a common agreement, they can send the bill to something called conference and negotiate a final agreement that both bodies can pass. And a few members sit on a conference committee, they negotiate a final bill, and then both the House and the Senate have to vote on it. So once the bill has been passed by both bodies, we have to have members of each body sign the bill. The folks who sign the bill are the chief clerk of the House, Bernard Dean. I sign every bill that has been passed by both the House and the Senate. And then in the Senate, it's the secretary of the Senate and the president of the Senate, who happens to be our lieutenant governor, Denny Heck. All four of us sign the bill. Then the bill finally goes to the governor, and the governor has the chance to review the bill and decide whether or not to sign it. Usually those signings are done in very public ceremonies. This year, unfortunately, they'll all be seen publicly on TVW, but there won't be people there with the governor as he signs them. But we always say in the Washington State House of Representatives, which has 98 members, and the Senate has 49 members, you have to get 50 votes, 25 votes, and one vote in order for your bill to become law. So that's 50 votes to get off the House floor, 25 to get off the Senate floor, and the one vote of the governor. And that's what we're working on right now, 50, 25, and one, to pass bills that are important to the people of the state of Washington. Thanks a lot for watching.